gift of Mullen. These might look a little sad right now because they were just transplanted from my neighbor's yard. I think they'll like the view here. Plus, they like dry, rocky soil and can do well in clay as long as it has good drainage, being that this is right on the edge of the hill. It's got good drainage. <laughs> and it's where all the other little babies popped up from the seed picked last summer. So, I just want to show you, these were a little bit bigger plants, they dug them up, um, gave them to me in these buckets, and people are under the impression that you can't transplant mullein, but that's not true because I did that last year. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Hey Merck! <laughs> so, and you should do this basically with any herb that you take home or transplant, you know, so I just clipped the leaves and they're tied to hang so I can dry them out and use them. I mean, mullein will probably dry pretty fast actually in the climate right now. Um, so in a few days it can be used as tea or uh, smokable, you know, for respiratory inhalation or for, um, uh, start to use it to make a tincture, which is one of the things I'm going to do and obviously give them some of that beautiful medicine. But, um, yeah, I know when people think of weeding, they think of it as this terrible, grueling process, but... <laughs> When you look at the weeds as the food and medicine they are, it's no different than harvesting tomatoes, right? Or actually it is, because the tomatoes, you know, can only go so far, whereas the mullein, you can even use it on your skin. So it has so many properties, like respiratory issues from asthma, bronchitis, pneumonia. Um, it also has, what's that called, like coumarin or something in it, natural, so it's basically a natural blood thinner, it's an expectorant, it can be used as a diuretic, it's also used for joint pain and other issues, so I, mullein is definitely one of my favorite herbs, I'm not going to tell you everything about it, I've been talking about it for years, and you know, plus you really don't learn anything unless you kind of do the search yourself, you know? Like, I can tell you all these things, but that's not going to make you want to go out and use it. So, but yeah, all of those things are true and more. Um, and because of the multiversatile use, like I said, okay, so for tea, it is, you know, it's not going to be the most delicious, you know, but just mix it with, like, peppermint, or, you know, ginger and lemon, or, you know, something that is less bitter or whatever, right? Um, but it is such a gentle yet powerful medicine that's free, that people can utilize. I mean, just that little bit I harvested right there can make me tincture enough to last myself personal use probably 10 years you know what I mean so obviously there's plenty to share and it's not something that you're going to take every day right but oh my gosh look at these fuzzy leaves plus if you don't actually know mullen uh, by now so they get super tall like a tobacco or a corn plant and they usually have one stalk on top but sometimes more and they could be taller than me like six feet taller higher with the beautiful little yellow flowers on the outside of the top of the stalk and so that's what I picked I wish I had it to show you here but it's basically you know when it dries out it's a stick with a bunch of balls on it and so <laughs> I sprinkled them everywhere. So that's the little babies I showed you the other day in this that I'm trying to cultivate or am cultivating. 
as a weed patch, but yeah, baby, baby, there's a bunch right there. There's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. So I think I might call this like Mullen Meadows, even though I have some like garlic and kale and stuff like that in. But yeah, coughing, respiratory issues, asthma. Like I've talked about for years how I cured my asthma. This is one of them, but also benefits for your heart and brain and parasympathetic nerve system. Get to know Mullen. Don't look at weeding as a chore. Look at it as a blessing. Okay? If it was planted in your yard, it's, it's a gift. Right? Yeah. So look at it like that. I, if you want. <laughs> I'm not trying to tell you what to do because, you know. But, oh yeah, is that Jupiter? Jupiter's gonna be a daddy! Isn't that exciting? I am so excited. My little three-legged wonder. You are just the coolest little dude. Of course you're all the coolest, depending on who I'm talking to. But you're so cool in so many different ways. Look at him. So comfy. That's uh, Jupiter Trooper Skywalker Lebowski. And then, if you don't know, earned... Uh, another nickname, Diggler, when we found out Poseidon uh, is actually Persephone. It's 2021, though. It's easy to be confused. <laughs> Have a good day and go make friends with Mullen.